Okay, this is module five assignment. Just a couple reminders, delete all your brackets and instructions and use one font to maintain a professional look. Okay, salesperson one, salesperson Chase. I've made this advertisement saying that we can sell your house for at least 280 per square foot. Let's run it. Salesperson Wendy, I'm not sure that's right. I believe it's lower than 280. Head broker, Kenzie. Let's test Wendy's claim that the mean dollars per square foot is less than 280 for our region, the Pacific. We do not want to false advertise. Let's take a sample of 750 homes. Okay, so we're testing Wendy's claim that the mean is less than 280. Okay, when people sell their house, they want to get the most dollars per square foot. Okay, so if it's actually less than 280, the advertisement would be a false advertisement. So we're testing Wendy's claim that it's less than 280. So this goes in HA, that's all alternate hypothesis. So we're going to find the mean dollars per square foot for our sample of 750. What we're estimating is our population parameter, the mean dollars per square foot for the entire Pacific region. Okay, so that's our mu. We're testing that the mean equals 280 as our HO. HO always has an equals versus our alternate that the mean is less than 280. Okay, if you want to type the symbol, insert symbols, And we want our mu. Okay, that's our symbol for the population parameter mean square feet for the Pacific region, the whole region. Okay. All right, so our mean is 280, HO less than 280. We're using the T distribution since we don't know the population standard deviation. It's left tailed because HA has the less than. Our assumptions that it's random, we're gonna make it random with Excel, and the sample size is sufficiently large, and we're gonna use a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. To get the Greek symbol, you also use your, use your symbols. Okay, you get insert, and then symbols. Okay, this is going to be our test statistic, so we need to do our calculations. All right, so when you go to your learning module, module five assignment, okay, you want to download house listing prices by region. Okay, so let's go there. Now we're doing the Pacific. That means what we need to do is we need to look at these tabs down at the bottom and click Pacific. Okay, to make sure we've got the Pacific region. Okay, I like to delete these header columns. Okay, so I'm going to delete these top columns. Okay, so let's see what column we're using. Cost per square foot is E. Okay, cost per square foot is column E, so we need to delete that. Okay, let's do our random number again. Okay, equals R A N D enter with the parentheses, sorry, R A N D parentheses. Okay, then we fill down. Okay, so select G and fill down. Okay, now I'm not going to go all the way down. Okay, because that's going to take some time. Go all the way down to the bottom. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, it's a lot. So let's go, I think it's about a thousand. OK, 
Okay, fill down this little box with the arrow down, fill down. Okay, now you can jump back up to the top, just come up to here, right up here in the left and type A1. Okay, that'll get us back to the top row. Okay, now we need to sort G, that will randomly sort these rows. So sort small to large. You want to expand the selection. That means it keeps each row the same. Okay, it keeps each row the same. It just moves the rows in different orders. Okay, each row is a house. Sort. Okay, now we want to keep the first 750. Now remember, we don't need this random number. We need just column E. Okay, so I'm going to Take 750, okay, 750, you can look at the top and it'll tell you how many you got, okay, so 750, you can copy and paste or cut and paste, I'm just going to copy come to a new sheet by a plus sign down here in the very bottom right in A1 paste. Okay, so we have 750 now. Let's make this larger. Okay, so you can use different formulas. If we want to use data, Remember, we need our data analysis, descriptive statistics, okay, and we need A1 to A750. So you can just change that, change what you have in there. A new worksheet, we'll just put it in a new um, tab. And we want the summary statistics. Okay, so there we have our mean and standard deviation. Okay, so we need two things, the mean and we need the standard deviation. Okay, you can use the standard deviation or the standard error is already calculated for you. All right. So let me write this down for when I go to a new tab. Okay, I'm going to round to um, hundreds. So my standard error and my mean. Okay. All right. So I've got my two things. Let's go back. Our test statistic is we're going to take the sample mean from the data minus the mean from the hypothesis, divide by the standard error. Okay. Now, if you don't use the data analysis tool, you can still get the standard deviation and find the standard error. But the standard error comes in the data analysis. So T equals Okay, to type a fraction, you use equation. All right, so that's 261.07 is my sample mean. The hypothesis is that it's 280, and my standard error was 5.87. Okay, your sample mean and your standard error will be different. Okay. So let's do that, 261.07 minus 280. Okay, I'm going to insert my equation to get a fraction that's negative 18.93 divided by my standard error equals 2.
negative 3.22. Okay, now yours is going to be different. Okay, I don't need to calculate the standard error since I had that. Okay, so my t distribution, since it's left tailed, okay, it's left tailed because it has less than, so we use the t dot dist, D I S T, negative 3.22. All right, let's go back to Excel. So my test statistic was negative 3.22. The degrees of freedom are always the sample size minus one for a one sample. So 750 sample size minus one is 749. Okay, formulas. more statistical, or you can just type it, t distribution, okay, the first number is my test statistic, degrees of freedom is 749, cumulative, we put one for yes, true, okay, there's my test statistic. Now, let's say your cell is little, okay? You need to make it larger, all right? Now, let me, okay, so this is my p-value right here, p-value. Let me write that down. I've got one, two, three zeros. Six six eight six one one. Okay, now I want you to see what happens if your p value looks a little different. Okay, let me make this p value very large, like negative 12. Okay. So let's make this p value very large. Now what does that mean? That is scientific notation, which means that this decimal between the nine and the zero needs to move left 31 times. So what is that? That's basically a whole bunch of zeros and a nine. Okay, that's practically zero. Let's say your cell was little and that's what you see, okay? P-values cannot be more than one, okay? Ignore my typing. P-values cannot be more than one, okay? It cannot be more than one. That E minus 31 means move the decimal left 31 times. Okay, so if you have 5e negative 10, you would move the decimal left 10 times, okay? Anything with this e negative is pretty much zero. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so here's what I talk about for the p-value again. Can't be more than one. The p-value is an easy thing to just <coughs> think about is the p-value is the probability that HO is correct, okay? So it cannot be more than one. All right, our decision can only be one of these two things. If the p-value is less than the significance, reject HO. There's enough evidence to support the claim the mean is less than 280. We should not use the advertisement because this means we're selling homes for less than 280 per square foot. Okay, we're selling it for less than that, which is not what our advertisement says, okay? Now, if the p-value is more than the significance, fail to reject, there's not enough evidence to support the claim the mean is less than 280, okay? So what are we comparing for my example? Okay, 
0.000066. Okay, you line up the decimals. That is less than 0 0.05, okay? Your significance level should be 0 0.05. 0 0.05 equals 5% error, okay? Do not use 0 0.5, that's 50% error, okay? We do not want to allow a lot of error, okay? So use 0 0.05 for significance. All right, so you line up the decimals, okay? So I'm going to compare the 5 to this second zero here. So that is less. Okay. Okay. So since mine is less, I would use the reject. Okay. And that whole rest of the statement. Okay. What's an example that would something be more? Okay. 0 0.06 is more than 0.05. Okay, 0 0.12 is more than 0 0.05 because you start by comparing the first thing after that decimal. Okay, 1 is bigger than 0. You're comparing that first digit with that other first digit. Okay, let's go to our instructions. Okay, I... Did the hypothesis test, left-tailed, t-test. Okay, mean, median, standard deviation, we found those. Okay, provide a histogram. So let's go back to Excel. All right, so in a blank cell, insert. Recommended charts. Actually, let's highlight this first. Recommended charts. Okay, here's our histogram. Okay, remember we want titles. This is dollars per square feet for the Pacific region. Okay, make sure you can see these numbers here. Okay, make sure you can see those numbers fully. Okay, you want to be able to see the complete first number and last number. Okay, now mine is right skewed because most of the stuff is here in these lower things. You can see most of the data is in these first three things, okay? So yours might look different depending on your sample. Okay, so um, be, just be sure you label it. And let's go back to all right, I did the histogram. Remember, screenshot just that little bit of the histogram, okay, and insert it in your template. Okay, describe the shape. Is it um, left skewed, symmetric? Okay, we did our decisions and our conclusion. Okay, remember to Use your template. Where's our template? Okay, module five assignment Word document. Okay, remember we delete. Put our name here, delete the brackets. Okay, remember to delete all the brackets and instructions. Put your screenshot in here for your histogram. Okay. 
only do this middle one, okay? We're only doing the left-tailed test. You do not need to do the right-tailed or the two-tailed because that's not what we're testing in this one, okay? So you're only using this middle T distribution because that's the left-tailed. Okay, and fill in all your information there and your conclusion. And that is module five.